How you doing, people? Welcome back to another ESO video. Today is about the Nightblade changes on the PTS for cloak or invisibility or shadowy disguise, whatever you want to call it. Basically, they changed it recently so that it will cost you per every two seconds, meaning that it will eventually make your magical bar run dry. Now, I know your argument would be, well, what about our mag recovery? Well, they made it so that the mag recovery completely stops while you're in invisibility and they've rolled back on it. What they've done now is they've made it so it still costs over time. Every two seconds that it is on is a toggleable ability. But they've made it so that your magicka doesn't recover while you are moving. While you are standing still now, it won't actually stop your recovery. Which presents a bit of a problem. Let me explain what they tried to do here. So, if you are stealthing, regular, hide, stealth, whatever you want to call it, um, that every single class can do, you do this and your stamina will drain. Now, you can have reduction to cost, all sorts of different benefits from your passives and skills and sets and all that good stuff in the game that will prevent that from costing as much. And you can also um, benefit from standing still and getting your resources back. Because when you are stealthed, your stamina recovery is inactive. But when you are not moving, it's back. They did the same thing, exactly the same thing almost with the new invisibility. It will cost while you are running around and you don't get recovery. It's turned off. But as soon as you stop, your recovery comes back. Now the difference is with stealth, it doesn't cost you while you are static. While you are standing completely still, it doesn't cost you anything. This will. So it will cost you all the time when you're running around with no recovery, but it will cost you while you're standing still with recovery counting. Here's the problem. One, you can take potions while you are standing still and it doesn't remove your invisibility. Two, there are sets that give very, very high recovery bonuses. And three, the reduction to cost. So it doesn't tell you in the tools hip here, but on their particular page on the forum, they stated that while you are actively invisible, this will be halved in cost. Now, this is every two seconds. So at the moment, all you need to do is have 2160 Magicka recovery to completely counter it. That's not that difficult because at the moment, even without putting too much effort in, I'm on 4.29 or 4.290. It's, it's pretty easy to counter. To the point where the major problem where individuals could sit there permanently invisible at a ladder in Imperial City or something to that effect, waiting for people to jump up there and then just nuke them in the load screen, that is still completely possible. Not to mention, of course, the fact that while you're running around, while it does drain you and your recovery's gone, you can build for such high recovery that as soon as you stand still, you're pretty much full anyway. Also, you've got Siphon of Strikes, which was changed recently, where if you activate it, you lose health, but you get resources back. I'm running around while I'm invisible, and I can activate this whenever I want. As you can see, it doesn't actually get rid of my invisibility. So I can stay that way. Now, the one thing you can do also is you can hide first, invisibility second. So if you hide first and you take advantage of the basic stealth, and you start losing too much stamina, you can activate Siphon and Strikes and get your stamina back. You can fill it up. At the same time, your mag recovery is filling up. So now that it's full, I can take advantage of this. I'm hidden and invisible at the same time. So if my invisibility accidentally runs off for any reason, I'm still hidden. So I'm literally balancing the two bars. And if one goes way too low than the other, I simply hit this. Invisibility is capable of still being complete infinite especially while standing still so I don't think they've hit the nail on the head yet I understand the point of making it very similar to stealth although I feel like they've made it too similar and just made a stronger version of it which is hit and miss that depends on how you feel about it but I do think that the fact that you can just completely counter it with recovery and just stop it every so often or just swapping stealths until your bar is back up makes it very very uh, close to what it was before and quite possibly a lot easier so you're going to get two sides of the coin. You're going to get people celebrating the fact that they can be almost infinitely stealthed or invisible. And you get other people that will be kicking off about the fact that you can't actually counter it. Now, my argument would be that if they were to introduce something to do with Mage Light or any decloaking abilities that were equally as active, let's say, then it wouldn't be quite so bad. For example, you've got Mage Light, Inner Light, Radiant Light, whichever one you want. And basically, there's, there's variants. But if you activated this... You can decloak people. But if someone is doing this all day long, and you're not quite sure where they are, this is going to have to be spammed all day. You are not going to maintain that. Yeah, sure, it's got a small timer on it, but you're not going to maintain that all the time. It's going to run out. 
And the fact that you have to still spam it versus someone that doesn't have to spam invisibility, they need to change this. If they're going to allow the invisibility to be permanent or almost permanent, depending on how you build, they need to make sure that these decloak abilities are also a channel or a cast cost per duration even. Stuff like this is, is a mess. So I don't think they've quite got to where they should be at the moment. Um, even if you look at some of the support um, skill lines or assault actually where you've got, no it is support, revealing flare. Let's call it this one. So this one here, you actually place it on the ground. Uh, they can't return from invisibility to four seconds, of course, but I mean, you're gonna have to be pretty accurate to find someone right there. Or someone right here. I don't think it's good enough. I think a flare should shoot up in the air. It should be a much, much bigger area or it should stick to you. Kind of like Seed Shield covers a big area here and you run around with a bubble on you with a high cost. Those types of things I think they should introduce if they're going to offer some form of actual counter for invisibility versus just making everyone do this forever. Because if you've got five Nightblades running around in circles right now, you ain't decloaking any of them. And if you do decloak one, the rest of them, you don't stand a chance. I'm not saying invisibility should be gone. I'm not saying invisibility is a bad thing. I'm saying that I think it's far, far too easy at the moment. Now, it is on the PTS, so this is in testing at the moment. It's gone through two major changes already. I don't doubt there'll be more, but let me know what you think in the comments section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's the best thing I've ever done to a Nightblade? Do you think it's the worst? Do you think there should be proper counter for it, or do you think it's fine where it is? Then, of course, if you do have something really important and really constructive to say, make sure you send feedback to Zoss. If you want things to stay as they are or change, you need to let them know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hugely appreciate the support. If you're not subscribing, hit that button. It's free, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.